Hi, I'm Donna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, before you get moving, you're going to click and subscribe to my channel and then you're not going to miss out on our weekly workouts. So something a little bit different for you today. We've got a hip workout. It's 15 minutes long. It's going to get your heart pumping. It's got a Pilates foundation. So we are going to concentrate on strengthening your core. I'm going to remind you about your posture. But boy, are you going to get a really good workout. So there's eight exercises in total. We are going to um, do each one for 30 seconds. Then we're going to have a 10 minute rest. We're going to work through uh, the eight exercises. Then we're going to do that again and again. So in total, we're going to do three rounds of eight. That's going to take 15 fabulous minutes. And at the end, you are going to feel brilliant. The only thing that you need is a mat and get some water because you will probably need a drink throughout. I have got my phone because I'm going to put the timer on. Um, 30 seconds, 10 second rest. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, good. Get your head in the right place. Keep focused and let's work hard. You can rest at any point, but I want you to push as hard as you can so you get the most out of the workout. You're going to start in a standing position on your mat. Okay, so we're going to stand uh, side on on the mat. We're going to come into a squat. So, four, three, two, one. We're going to squat down and stand up. When you squat down, you're going to inhale, you're going to uh, exhale as you stand up. Sweep your arms forward, engage your core, pull your navel in towards your spine. Good, so neutral spine. Come down as low as you can. So you don't want your bottom to come any lower than your knees. Well done. Okay, we have got less than 10 seconds left. First round is almost done. Three, Two, one. Okay, you've got a 10 second rest. On the next round, you're going to squat. As you stand up, you're going to kick the leg forward and tap your toe. Three, two, one. Squat down, stand up, kick and tap. Squat down, kick and tap. So you're trying to get the leg as straight as you can. The movement's coming from the hip joint. Swing the leg forward. Good. Well done. So we're halfway. Fantastic. So keep focus. You're going to go as fast or as slow as you want to. So this is your workout, your time. Well done. You're going to come down onto the mat. So you're going to come into a plank position, hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're in a plank, you're going to walk the feet in. You're going to bend your knees, you're going to walk them out. And then you're going to switch. So if you lead with the left leg first, you're going to lead with the right leg on the next repetition. Well done. So keeping your head in line with your spine, keep pulling your navel in and up towards your spine. Good. You can bring your knees down onto the mat. You can have a rest at any point. Well done. So we're going to go into a tricep press and then push our glutes down, bottom down towards our heels. So you can be on your knees here. You're going to bend your elbows, tuck them in towards your rib cage, and then as you extend the arms, you're going to push back, bottom down towards your heels. Okay, so it's a whole body exercise. Your glutes, your arms, your core are working together. If you are feeling particularly strong, you can go onto your toes and come into your tricep press here. Well done. Okay, we're gonna lie down on your tummy. You're gonna extend your arms above your head. You're gonna softly point your toes. You're gonna lift your head and chest, and we're gonna go for a swim here. So the movement's coming from your shoulders and from your hips. After 10 seconds, we are going to hold. Hold here. So lengthen from your fingertips down to your toes. We've got three, two, one, and we're going to swim again. Well done. So keep pulling your navel in towards your spine. Good. Head and shoulders are lifted. Well done. You're going to roll onto your tummies, and we're going to come into your single leg stretch. So you're going to curl up head and shoulders off the mat. You're going to pull one leg in, 
and pull one knee in and extend the opposite leg. So keep your chin tucked down towards your chest. Keep pulling your navel in towards your spine. Well done. So you're going to keep that momentum going. Good. So your heart rate should be increasing. Well done. Almost there. Fantastic. Okay, you're going to roll onto your side and you're going to bring yourself up to a standing position. We're going to go straight into our lunge. You're going to lift your knee up towards your chest. You're going to step back. You're going to come into the lunge. Same leg. Lift that knee again. And lunge. Well done. Same leg throughout these 30 seconds. So as you come back into your lunge, you're bringing the knee down towards the mat. Good. Press that knee up towards your chest. Now think about your posture. So your chest is lifted. Pause engage. You're going to switch legs. Are you ready? You've got a 10 second rest. You've got a 5 second rest. Okay. So core is engaged. I'm inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Well done. So it really helps if you fix your vision on a spot in front of you that isn't moving. That's gonna whoop, help you with your balance. Well done. Almost there. And change. Yes. Well done. So you can probably hear from my breathing that my heart rate is elevated. That's what it's all about. It's high intensity training. Hit. Okay, we're going to do all of that again. Same exercises. Now that familiar, you should be able to get more repetitions in each round. So I'm going to start the timer again. And we are going to begin with our squats in a standing position. Okay, time is on. Hopefully you've grabbed yourself a quick drink. Okay, feet, knees, hip distance apart. Core engage. We're going to squat down and stand up. Squat down and stand up. Well done. So do think about your alignment. Think about your posture. Think about head in line with your spine. Good, so you're hinging at the hip. The spine's tilting forward. Your knees are tracking forward. Hopefully, if you're doing this at home, you've put the tunes off. You've got the tunes blasting out. You're having your own little party in your bedroom, in your living room. Good. We're going to squat down, and as you come up standing, you're going to kick. Try and straighten that leg and kick your hand. Okay. Squat down and kick. Squat down. Opposite leg and kick. Well done. So you're trying to get as many repetitions in as you can in these 30 seconds. Good. So you're hinging at the hip, flexing at the hip, bringing the leg up towards your hand. So it's not hand to the foot, it's foot up to your hand. Well done. See if we can squeeze one more in. Yes, well done. So you're coming back down onto the mat, plank position. So feet slightly wider than your hips. You're going to walk your right leg in, then your left leg. Walk, extend the right leg, then your left leg. And switch. Well done. So you can speed this up a little bit. If you're getting tired, you can bring your knees down onto the mat. Have a rest and then join in when you're ready. We've got 10 seconds to go. Well done. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Back to your tricep press, and then you're coming into your rocket launch. So, you're on your knees, hips are down, squeeze your glutes, okay. Elbows into your ribcage. Push up, breathe out. Bottom down towards your heels, and again. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Come onto your toes if you are feeling particularly strong. Bring your bottom down towards your heels. Back into your tricep press. Push back. Well done. Awesome job. How are we doing? 
Fantastic. We're going to come and lie down on your tummies. Are we ready? On your tummies, we're going to lift your head and your chest. And we're going to go for a swim. So opposite arm and leg. Opening out to the hip and the shoulder joint. We're going to hold here. So lengthening from your fingertips down to your toes. Using your core to support your spine. Hold. Hold and swim for the final 10 seconds. Well done everyone. Keep going, keep lengthening through the body. Okay, so from here, we're gonna roll over onto your tummies and go into our single leg stretch. So we're gonna lift your head and shoulders off the mat. You're gonna pull one knee in towards your chest as you extend the opposite leg. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. 30 seconds. You can do this. Well done. Focus on pulling your navel in towards your spine. Core is engaged. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. How much fun is this? You're going to roll over onto your side. You're going to come and stand up on your mat and get ready for our lunges. So lifting your right knee up. You're going to step back. Lunge. Bring the knee up and again. So focus on that spot in front of you that isn't moving. It's going to really help with your balance. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. And again. Well done. Chest lifted. Spine in neutral. Core engaged. Well done. Shake out your legs if you need to. You're going to switch left leg. Lifting the knee up towards your chest. We're going to step back, come into your lunge, bring the knee into your chest, up to your chest, I should say. Well done. So as you can see, when I step back, I am not leaning forward. I'm keeping my chest lifted, spine in neutral. So this is a challenge for your posture. So your core is working hard. Well done. If you want to, if it helps, you can bring your arms out to the side. Whatever helps you. Yes! Well done! That is round two done. You're going to grab yourself a quick drink, have a quick sip. We have got one more round to go. So now all the exercises are still familiar. You're going to fly through them. Okay. Are we ready? Five more minutes and then we are done. But of course, you can do as many repetitions as you want to at home. Squat, core engaged. Okay, we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So if you have hand weights at home, small hand weights, maybe a kilo, maybe even two kilos, you can add those into the workout. If you don't have hand weights, you can use water bottles. Well done. Ten seconds to go. Well done. Okay, I love the saying, if it's to be, it's down to me. This is your workout, make it count. Okay, catch your breath. We're going back into our squat. You're going to kick the leg up. You're going to bring the foot to the hand. Okay, let's go. Squat out and kick. Squat down and kick. Trying to get that leg as straight as you can. And remember, it's foot up towards the hand, not the other way around. We're not bringing that hand down. Good. This is so good for your hamstrings, for your glutes. Well done. And as with everything, all these exercises, your core is working hard. Well done. We're going to come down onto the mat into your plank, your feet slightly wider than your hips, your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. We're going to bend your right knee, hover it off the mat, left knee, then extend the legs and then switch. Well done. So keep pulling your navel in towards your spine. If you're starting to get tired, you can have a rest at any point. Keep thinking about your posture about your alignment, well done. Turn the tunes up at home. Have your own little 
half seat. Well done. Tricep press, elbows, hold them in to your ribs. Okay, breathe in when you bend the arms and the elbow. Breathe out as you push up. Okay, hips and up. Elbows in. We're going to push up and breath back. Rolling forward with momentum, with power. Okay, last round. We're going to do as many as we can. Good, we're over halfway. Keep going. I love this exercise. If you're not ready to come up onto your toes, you can always extend one leg. And then extend the other leg. Well done. Awesome effort. How are you doing? Amazing. Okay. So we're going to lie down on your tummies. We're going to swim. Head and shoulders are lifted. Okay. So head is in line with your spine. Arms are extended. Softly point your toes. And hold here. Hold and breathe. And breathe. Well done. Get ready, three, two, one, we are swimming again. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and change. Well done, you're gonna roll over onto your backs. Get ready for your single leg stretch. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. You're gonna curl up, pull one knee in, and then the other, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Well done. So when you have finished this, you will have done 15 minutes of a hit Pilates workout. You can go back to the beginning. You can do this all over again. You can make it half an hour if you want to. Okay, I'll leave that up to you to decide how much energy you've got, how much of a challenge you're looking for. You're gonna to come to the top of your mat, Okay, we're going to think about your posture. Core is engaged. You can have your arms out to the side if it helps. You're going to step back, come into your lunge, sweep the knee up, breathe in as lunge, exhale, lift the knee. Good. So we're trying to keep that neutral spine. Try not to lean forward. Well done. Focusing on a spot in front of you that isn't moving. It's really going to help with your balance. Good, almost there. And change opposite leg. Final exercise. Okay, hands here or arms out to the side. It's up to you. Lift the knee. Come into your lunge. Press the knee up. Well done. So I keep thinking about my alignment. I keep using my core. That supporting foot that's on the mat. I'm pressing the toes down. I'm trying to use the whole of the foot to stabilise me. Well done. Almost there. Okay. And yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Wow. Hope you enjoyed that. Grab yourselves a drink. And don't forget, subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Go have a fantastic day. Well done.